it's now coming up to it's about now the five year anniversary of when I went to the doctor for a stroke blood test and uh, the nurse said oh what is it you wanted when she looked at a computer screen I said oh um yeah a pros blood test what, what for she said I said well prostate um no not prostate stroke and then she said well I did a stroke I do a prostate as well and that's what started it all off waiting five years so what's happening now well um a lot and nothing really i suppose uh earlier on in the year in fact may um i sat down i, I watched the london marathon i wasn't feeling that good from the previous drug um i have since had the new one that was last thursday and i'm not feeling as bad anywhere near as bad as i did then um and uh, a dutch girl won the female race and i watched that and she nobody thought she would win um and at one stage it looked like she'd lost because once you start falling back to get actually catch up again it's incredibly difficult but she did and i was really motivated by that and i thought um hmm. then i watched general public doing it and there were some people walking and i thought this is where i went into marathon running i saw a few people right at the end having a cans of lager and i thought if they can do it i can do it and i started to feel the same i thought i know you know i know i've got all these issues with the heart and one and a half lungs and so forth but at least i could give it a go so i thought okay i'll do that um see rupert waiting so i entered for the london marathon this year well next year and I thought, I have to the end of June to decide, because that's when you get the notification saying, you can pay now, or you didn't get in. Unfortunately, I didn't get in. But I thought, while I tried, while I sort of, sort of tested myself, it didn't go well. Here would be. Um, I was climbing up a ladder in the garage, the ladder collapsed and stuff fell on top of me, injured my leg. So I limped for a couple of months. Um, I tried to hide the bruises, but that didn't work. And then um, four weeks ago, I had a telephone call from the cardiac department in the hospital, the pacemaker department, they're saying, can I go in straight away? Then another call said, get a lift, don't drive, come in immediately, um, which I did. Uh, and it turns out they thought I'd had a cardiac arrest or about to have a cardiac arrest, or it may just be another episode of um, atrial fibrillation, which I hope it is. We don't know yet. I'm going in for another test later. So my training schedule <laughs> didn't go to plan, but in the rejection letter from the London Marathon is, well, we've got some other things. And I look and there's a 10K run. It's a quite a serious run in London, central London, big event. It's a bit like a mini marathon. You get thousands of people, lots of noise, lots of cheering, different groups, lots of crowds. Um, and they do a virtual one. And the reason I say that is I've been banned ever since I collapsed at the Great South Run eight years ago with my heart issues. Um, I've been banned from entering all these things. But this one, this is, this is a virtual one. This is one where you get an app on your watch and you set off when they set off all the next day, actually. Um, and it monitors your progress and um, you, run the you run the 10K. So I can run it with Rupert and me and this is where, I'm, where I am now. And you get the medal, same medal. So I've entered for that. Don't tell, don't tell anyone. So I've got to stop practicing now, um, which I will do. Um, so I'm pleased about that. So that's given me a bit of an upper. On the downer side of things, I'm going through all my personal belongings and getting rid of them and selling them on eBay. And some of the things I've had for years and years and years, and I, they've always, I've always treasured them. 
but now they mean nothing. And I don't understand why something that I've had for 60 years and treasured now means nothing. And I could give it away to charity and so forth, or sell it on eBay, like little Airfix soldiers I've mentioned before. Just selling them mean nothing, but they used to mean everything. So that's a bit, I don't know why that is, but, but it is. Um, there's that. I forgot what else I was going to say now, and it's been five minutes. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, now, I understand, and if you live in America, hopefully you might be able to help me here, that you can get belts that get rid of the body fluid, which is my real the thing I hate about these drugs more than anything else. I can put up with the sleepless nights and put up with uh, the aches and so forth, but the body fluid and people looking at you and seeing, are you, who are you, you know, and people I used to know, I, I, and self-image, I just can't. So I really want help doing that. And I understand that um, you can get a belt in America, wear a belt. And that can sort it. So if anybody knows that, please let me know, and I can see, can see if try and get one. Um, okay, best go now. Rupert wants to carry on. <laughs>